Let's do an AFK mob kill setup. Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Minecraft Quick Tip Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to go over a uh, kind of an AFK kill area for like a mob farm. So you you know you found the spawner and you want to make a mob farm. And so you create the path, you get them to your area that you want to kill them with, but you want to do some AFKing also. Well, this is one way that you can do it fairly simple. Uh, right now I'm on the Java version, uh, 1.13.2. And all, all we're doing is we, we've got a hopper down underneath with a minecart on top. And we're using the uh, magma block to actually uh, do the damage for us to do it, make it AFK. Okay. So it's pretty simple. And then when you want to turn it off and do uh, manual kills again and get the XP, depending on what kind of farm it is, all you got to do is go over here and uh, retract the uh, uh, magma block. So we're using, it, obviously, a sticky piston over here. And so I'll just build it real quick on what, what you would need to do. Uh, your storage underneath or however you want to set that up is totally up to you. But we can go ahead and grab a, a chest and I'll show you kind of a simple example. So let's just say we, uh, we're going to put our chest here. We'll put a hopper going into the chest. Um, and then if we're going to use a chest in this uh, situation right here, we'll probably need to put either a slab or a, a glass. And I, I like using glass. We're going to use glass. Makes it nice to be able to see what's going on and everything. And then uh, any kind of other block of choice that you want to use for... Uh, uh, separate an area and you may actually want to use a slab up here in front so let's grab a slab too but I mean you could use full blocks it just depends on, on, on how you're going to kill and get into the kill area so then we're going to need to uh, we put up here let's grab a rail it doesn't matter what kind of rail any kind of rail will work and then you're going to need your minecart hopper Throw the rail down, and what we do this, let's go ahead and throw our magma block over here. Put the uh, minecart hopper on top, and just break that block underneath. And that's the easiest way to get it down to, to go down in the middle. Okay. So then we're going to need a sticky piston over here. So let's just go ahead and build this up a little bit. We'll face the sticky piston in towards the magma block. Um, now, how you power this might be a little bit different on the different versions. So we're going to power it with the lever here and with a full block on uh, Java. So we go here. As you see, the minecart hoppers here. We throw something down into it. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing, guys. <laughs> Blooper, cut this out. Now I'm going to leave this in because you guys are probably laughing. So, <laughs> kind of funny. All right, so let's put this back. Uh, I thought I grabbed, uh, I grabbed the furnace instead of the hopper. I thought, well, that's not working. Okay, so we'll throw it down here. Breaker block again. Drops down. Uh, close it up. And then we should be able to throw our block in. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, that's simple. And then when you want to go back and you want to do the manual kill, They'll drop down here. The only thing you got to worry about is like if it's a zombie and you get a baby zombie or any kind of babies, they'll drop down into this. So you may need to uh, make sure that your killing area is secure. Um, and by doing so, uh, we'll just go like, uh, let's say right here. And that way that baby zombie can't get out. Of course, this would build up, be built up around here too. And then again, you know, you can reach in here from here and, and kill your, your mob. But again, like I said, if you want to do the AFK, uh, they're going to get up here and they're going to get have damage done to them by the magma block. And then uh, it's another thing that's really nice about the uh, micro hopper is that for like skeletons, sometimes when you're killing them, the, the, the arrows and the bows and armor will just fly everywhere. Uh, with the minecart hopper, uh, they'll, they'll be captured and you don't have to worry about flying all over the floor and stuff. Uh, so this is the Java version, guys. It's a little bit different. I was going to, uh, when you retract, the minecart stays there, minecart hopper. And on the uh, the Bedrock Edition, it doesn't. So 
I'm gonna I'm gonna show that here in a minute. I'll be back with it. But uh, like to take the time, guys, if you if you can, if you get any uh, use out of these videos, if it helps you out any, if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, like the video and, and ring the notification bell if you want to hear about new videos coming or see the new videos when they come out uh, right then. And uh, follow me on Twitter and my other social media. I really appreciate it. It would help me grow in 2019. And that's kind of the plan to get this ch channel built up uh, in 2019. All right, guys. I'll be back in a minute with the uh, Bedrock Edition. Okay, guys. We're back over here on the 1.8.1 uh, version of uh, the Bedrock, Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And uh, basically got the same setup up here. I just put a slab on top so we can uh, drop a rail down on top of it. And then the uh, Minecraft Harper. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll just break it. I'm in creative, but it, it's the same thing. If you broke it in survival, it would drop down the same way. Okay, so basically it looks like, you know, we got the same thing that we did in Java. But there's one little difference here. When you pull it back, it brings the plank cart with it. I've uh, moved it back and forth. Well, this time it's making a liar out of me. But before, I, I could move it back and forth, and it wouldn't have any problem. It would go ahead and, and go with the uh, magma block. So we may need to make another block here. Let's see here. We'll build up here, push it in, and then build up here too. And that should keep it from working. Okay, it is bringing the, uh, the minecart back with it, so that's a little bit different. Like on the Java version, it left the minecart over here. So again, you know, when you're uh, you're planning, make, killing your mobs. Uh, just make sure you got an area here. Um, let's go down here. An area where you can step down into to, to kill the mobs to keep yourself safe. It's not what the tip's about today, but it, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't want to give you a tip and then uh, leave you out in the cold and, and something else happens. So kind of complete it. You need to have a safe area to be able to kill your mobs when you want to not do it AFK and you're killing them manually. But if you're doing AFK, then we're just going to close it up again. The mobs will die from the damage that's created from the magma block, and you're you're good to go. Again, uh, this is this is for when you've already got a mob spawner and you're dropping them down, or however you you've got a mob spawner or some kind of mob farm, and you're filtering them to this area. So we'll drop down a tunnel, and this is on both versions. So we'll just drop down this tunnel. And this is the AFK uh, version of it. You'll need to be within the, the radius to make sure you're spawning the mob. And then when you want to go back and get some manual kills, make sure you're getting XP and stuff. You just retract it. You come over here and you can kill the mobs. At this height right here, they're not going to be able to see you either. So it doesn't matter what kind of mob it is. The only way they would see you is if they were a baby zombie or, or a, a baby version. So... Maybe a baby pigman, you know, if you were using this to, in a pigman farm or whatever, aren't. Um, so that's something else to keep in mind. But they're not going to be able to get out through this this little space right here. It weren't worn out half block size. So if it's the size of a slab, they're not going to be able to get out, and you can kill them. Uh, there's other ways to filter out the babies if you did have like a zombie farm or something you wanted to use, but um, this is not the, the tutorial for that. So guys, I hope this helps you out. Uh, if it does, let me know. You know, leave a comment. I'd always appreciate those, appreciate those and read them. Uh, and uh, see you on the next video, guys. Thanks. Bye.